build up a regular target savings fund for things you want to buy later. Consistently fund this account and buy consumer items with cash. So when it says cash, using a credit card is also counts as cash as long as you pay that in full. That's what he's saying is don't use a loan to buy consumer items. Okay. But you do want to build up your savings. Now, what I prefer to do are IULs, Index Universal Life accounts and because you can get 22 sometimes 30 percent interest on your savings account and that savings account um, you have access to that money within about 72 hours so instead of putting ten thousand dollars in the savings account at the bank and getting 0. 0.00 nothing you could have the ten thousand sitting in your iul savings account earning 20 30 percent interest and now it starts compounding. That's what he's saying is start putting, that's what the book is saying, is put the money aside for future purchases and for consumer, pay cash or a credit card that you pay off in full. Because here's something you, you got to remember. Uh, and this always surprises me when people say, I don't believe in credit. How many of you know someone says that? Give me a throw over there on the side or something. Let me know that you guys are still here. How many, give me a thumbs up or smiley face or something that you know somebody that says, I don't believe in credit. I pay cash for everything. I don't believe in debt. I don't believe in credit. Anybody know anybody like that? So here's the thing, guys. Cash is debt. It is credit. So your dollar bill, your $20 bill, your $100 bill, it is credit. It is credit and debt. It is a debt the U.S. government promises to pay back but it is essentially credit. It is no different than a credit card. We as a society pay interest to the cartel, the families that run the Federal Reserve. It is not federal. There is no reserves. It's just called the Federal Reserve. But it's really five families, the cartel that controls the entire world through the Federal Reserve banking system. And they print money give that to the U.S. government, the government then sends it out, and then the government promises to pay anyone back that has that, and we pay the Federal Reserve family interest. So the only real money is Bitcoin, gold, and silver, and lead. That's it. The rest of it is not real money. The rest is credit disguised as money. So anybody who says, I don't believe in credit, I pay cash for everything, well, cash, my friend, if it's U.S. dollar, in any other countries, cash, unless it's gold or silver, it is debt. So build up the regular savings. I like IULs.